Hello there guys, it's me, Wisely, and welcome to a new episode of Heretic Gods. Not Heretic Gods actually, but uh, second part of uh, poor unboxing. And together, we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to uh, have some uh, controller, uh, how to play Heretic Gods with a controller. Uh, yeah, how to button map and how to set up etc so yeah i already show you this one on the first part of the video this controller and i'm gonna show you on how to uh, set up this but by the way i'm going to show you something see the in-game by the way i have uh, two videos this one the the camera one the gamepad uh, the game controller video and uh, the game, game controller view and another one is the in-game uh, video so uh, pressing select you can mute and unmute and if you press as you can see there's number one and number two if you press if you press number two you can uh, oh boy uh, you can have some arrow keys and you can press pressing the left button to click left click see so yeah that's our uh, uh, number two by the way on number one I have this right button to enter the game I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you that later so this one I have my uh, baby I'm going to show you this one first or maybe this one the Magus one so I'm gonna show you um, uh, and play this one and yeah let's start as you can see left button to enter and yeah I'm going to show you guys on how to button mapping this game heretic gods so I'm gonna show you this one the octopus and by the way I'm still using octopus and I'm going to do my best to find an alternative uh, alternative button mapping up other than uh, octopus so as you can see there there's a tons of uh, uh, <laughs> there's a tons of uh, button mapping here let's start off with our arrow keys first or left analog the analog keys first as you can see on the left analog there's a how call this the of course obviously the movies movement uh, left to movement right to movement but i'm not going to suggest you i'm not going i'm not going to recommend you use right button to move also but i'm using right analog to or right joystick to how call this uh to interact with npc the non-playable character items such as chess and shrines and entering the stage as well so that's the uh, purpose of right analog so of course we have our D uh, buttons the right and the arrow keys we have left for uh, enter right for cancel up for NPC interaction the he the repairing or uh, identifying item and right one is uh, healing the refilling the potion but you can use this left button to uh, I call this to uh, I forgot <laughs> to uh, refill I mean uh, to uh, sort uh, to deselect the item 
the select the standard item and this one to the select the blue item nice and of course we have our keys as well such as uh, a as um, our main attack chain lightning b is for fireball x is for blizzard y is for i forgot that blessed palms and r t right or means right trigger to uh, force shield we have also on the uh, right i'm going to show you that later but first we have our left trigger for our potion of course we have our left button for inventory right button for character stats together with his inventory right s or this one if you press this for skills or abilities and ls for portal and we're going to show you the select and uh start select is to uh the menu of the game and of course start is to closing the menu or closing of course the oh my goodness uh the ability tree or the skill tree rather so yeah that's it for our uh uh call this uh, our uh button matting for this time so i'm going to show you uh here uh uh yeah <laughs> I'm going to show you on how to add other uh, yeah as you can see there's a lot of things you that you can add the key d-pad see d-pad the multiply which is using my pro I'm not going to pay that for that swipe order smart cast left analog right analog as you can see there's a um, uh, there's a description also as you can see and smart cast i'm gonna show you that on vengeance rpg button mapping tutorial but first as you can see so yeah that's it but what if you want to show those keys you forgot uh, you forgot those keys okay i'm gonna show you as you can see here the button opacity on the settings so if you uh, adjust that to this thing and close that okay as you can see there's a type of buttons here so yeah I'm gonna show you the left analog the right analog why uh, right analog is not recommended for moving even though I have the right analog for character as you can see his movement is so goddamn weird and yeah uh, oh so the purpose of right analog is this hello blacksmith so as you can see the left uh, the up button and the down button the up button is for repair for all and right button is for repair one item but I recommend to repair all so yeah right analog uh, as you can see uh, right analog okay, right analog again or left key or right key so next time we have our uh, so on this time we have our down button for refilling the potion as you can see uh, and next up we have our uh, uh, our and uh, okay there's no uh, Okay, we have our the uh, it is, uh, looks like a decker cane and we have our permian the priest so as you can see up button for uh, up button for uh, uh, I forgot what I'm going to say uh, up button for identify all item and up down button for identify the uh, the lower item so 
Yeah, that's it. We have our LT for our left trigger for our potion as you can see. See? But if I'm going to refill, I'm going to refill, I'm going to refill. So yeah, here we go with our refilling section. Shit. Uh, and down button. Nice. See? Very nice. So, and we have our LB left button for inventory. Inventory as you can see, up button to deselect the standard item and uh, down button to deselect the blue item. So, yeah, uh, that's the purpose of uh, left button. Right button, right button is for character stats. Nice. We have our RS for our skill. Nice. And of course, we have our stat. Uh, start button to close that start button C and we have our uh, portal I'm gonna use that later but first as I'm going to show you if you enter this area uh, is using the ladder you can enter the dark pit <laughs> that's the purpose of that uh, button of course as you can see there's a uh, accept or no so down a left a right rather for no and left for yes so yeah i'm going to show you how to uh uh okay uh, a for chain lightning i wish we have our uh well this uh shrine but yeah B for Fireball X is for Blizzard Y is for Blessed Palms And RT, right trigger Is for for Shield So yeah, I'm going to show you how to port do a portal So yeah, RS Down and using Right Analog to move That's the purpose of Right Analog I'm using Right Analog not to uh, For a uh, Permanent permanent movement speed I uh, for permanent movement but you can use right analog for interaction and I want to go back I want to go back I want to go back and there you go left okay I'm going to uh, select the menu select the menu RB for our uh, Exit. But first, start for closing. Okay, select and RB. And that's it. And if you want to mute the game, there we go. Nice. And select the character and here we go. So, what if you don't want to... Uh, you or want to show those buttons especially when you are recording the video so yeah settings and the button opacity so yeah okay and as you can see there's no buttons have been showed there and yeah select and exit and so yeah that's it for our uh, button mapping episode and that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching vengeance rpg button mapping tutorial will come out on saturday so make sure to subscribe ideas and suggestions let me know in the comments and we'll see you guys on the next video and have a good day